Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's talk about the first moments of an area or a wire. What we have here is we have a small object, very thin, small amount of thickness T. It has weight, it also has a surface area. And remember that when we use centroids, we only care about the surface area. When we use weight, of course, when we, we're trying to find the center of gravity, we do care about the weight of the object. Remember again the equation that when we take the center of the x coordinate of the center of gravity of the object, multiply times the weight, we know that's equal to the integral of the center of gravity of the small little pieces of which we divide it times, of course, the weight of each little piece. Now we call this integral, or we call the product of the center, of, the x coordinate of the center of gravity times the weight of the object, we call that the first moment about the y axis. Now why does that make sense? Well again, notice that the weight is acting in this direction, and if we take this distance right here, so this would be the distance relative to the y-axis, and you can see that that creates a moment. A weight times the perpendicular distance equals a moment. So they call that the first moment about the y-axis. In the same way, we can also call that the moment about the x-axis. Again, we have the weight here. This is distance away from the x-axis, and of course that gives us a moment in this direction. It gives us, if we think about it, well, if you use a right-hand rule, that would be, well, the moment would be positive in this direction, so since it's in the other direction, that would be a negative moment in this case. That's not the important part. The important part is that we recognize that a force multiplied times a perpendicular distance gives us a moment. So we can see then that the x-coordinate, which is this distance right here, the uh, distance from the y-axis to the center of gravity, times the weight of the object forms a moment about the y-axis. The weight of the object multiplied times the distance away from the x-axis, which is the y-coordinate of the center of gravity, forms the first moment about the x-axis. And so that's where that terminology came from. So if you had any confusion about that, hopefully this video cleared it up. So simply the concept that the weight of the object multiplied times the perpendicular distance creates a moment. And that's what we have here in this video.